Hi folks, Nick Colantuno, Certified Financial Planner here with Johnson Brunetti and welcome to our Money Wisdom Question Series. Today's question is all about year-end charitable gift planning. There's really a few things you should think about when it comes to charitable contributions throughout the year and particularly why doing things during that calendar year could be beneficial to you. The first is when it comes to any employer benefits you might have. Our employer, Johnson Brunetti, for example, will actually match our personal charitable contributions up to $1,000 per year. So if you're gifting to charities and maybe you've only gifted 500 this year and your employer is willing to match on top of that, well, make sure you're taking advantage of that, right? You gift the thousand, they'll throw in another thousand, and all of a sudden you've basically doubled your, your impact. So if there's any employer-sponsored programs that you have when it comes to those charitable gifts that you're making, take advantage of them before the end of the year. The second thing I wanna talk about is required minimum distributions. If you're of the age where you are either over 70 or where you're being forced to take required minimum distributions out of your retirement accounts, folks, I can't stress this enough, if you're making charitable gifts throughout the year, do it from the IRAs. Reason being, that is the only way to truly pay zero taxes on that retirement money. And believe me, as a financial planner, people come into our office all day, they're saying, how do I pay no taxes on my retirement money? The only way? is you give it to charity. They actually allow you to gift up to $100,000 a year out of your IRA directly to charity. Of course, you don't have to gift all 100,000, uh, but any gifts that you make will actually count towards your required minimum distributions for that year. So if your required minimum distributions are just forcing taxable income upon you that you don't necessarily need, and you're making gifting from non-retirement uh, accounts anyway, Turn that faucet off, make those gifts from the IRAs. That's truly a way where you can satisfy the RMD and pay zero taxes on that money. Again, I'm Nick Colantuno. Thank you so much for joining us for today's Money Wisdom Question Series. And hey, if you like this video, click the button below, give us a like, feel free to subscribe, and most importantly, feel free to share it with some friends, anyone else that, uh, that we can help. Thank you, folks. We appreciate you tuning in.